Hi, Arnie here, and today I'm going to show you how to make this video of two people texting each other. So the first thing I did in this case was to get some music, just so we have a length to follow for the video. It's background music. It's from Logo Idents in the uh, media library. I use one called Circus. Okay, now of course you don't have to use any music in the background if you're going to have this in the middle of your own video. Now let's bring in a background. So in the 3D backgrounds I chose the lounge. I'll bring that back here. Okay, let's shorten that up to match the background music. And as usual I like to lock the background so that we don't move it around by accident. Okay, let's bring in the phone. So we're going to go into Characters and Devices, and I use this hand right here, so we'll drag that in. Now, if we want to center this, that's the center right there of the, um, of the, of the graphic, but I want the phone in the center, so I'm just going to move this over slightly just to match it somewhere around there. That's good. Okay, and let's bring that over the entire range here. And now we have to put the back round to the phone. So we're going to get a shape for the phone. We'll use a rectangle here. And just match up the sides as best as possible. You'll notice that, obviously, since it has uh, corners, it goes over the phone. So we're going to deal with that by going to Advanced and change the radius to round the corners. So it just fits nicely within the phone. And so it looks better. We're going to bring that down and behind. So it looks like a nice white face there of the of the background of the phone. Okay, so let's bring in the first uh, text. We'll go to shapes again. And I use this one right here. So we're going to bring that in. And let's recolor that to a bluish color. Let's say something like that is good. And we'll make it just a bit smaller here. Now I'm going to have them offset slightly so it looks like it's a little bit more to the right. So it looks like this person's talking. This is going to be this guy talking. Okay, let's add some text to that. So just so we can see it, I'll bring it over here. And I said, hey, what's doing? And I'll make that smaller to fit inside there. And I centered it like that. Okay, since this is going to be over the entire length here, let's expand that. I'm going to add the animations in afterwards. So the next thing that happened is we had three little dots here that looked like somebody was in the middle of typing something. So let's work on that now. I'm going to move the head in here a little bit, the scrub bar, and let's add a circle. I'll show you how I did this here. So let's, uh, we're going to have this circle in like a gray, let's say just do a light gray like that. And we're going to set this up first and then we'll place it where we need to. So what we're going to do with the circle here is with the motion, have an in-out motion with fade. So we're going to do both. So it has a fade in and then a fade out, which we're going to do uh, immediately, but I'll show you how to do that in one second. So we're going to have this circle here. We're going to duplicate this and offset it a bit. Okay, and let's we can use our shift key here to move it horizontally or we just center it here, just move that over a little bit there. And let's do another one, duplicate that, offset it slightly. Okay, and we're going to move it off, let's say, to about here. So again, you can center this exactly. I'm just going to set it up as best as I can. Great. Okay, so in order to have these fade in and out in succession, what we're going to do here is grab the three circles. Oops. Let me move this up so we can see everything a little bit better. There we go. And grab those three. And I'm going to drag them down so that the fades occur immediately. So right about there. 
So what's going to happen now is this will fade in, fade out, fade in, fade out like that, okay? That's good. Actually, before we do that, I want to make it smaller. I'm going to show you why this is a bit of a problem to make it smaller. As you'll notice, there are no nodes, and I can't make that smaller. The reason for that is that any time we move the scrub bar here, we're always on a transition. I'm just going to expand that, again, back out slightly. When I move the scrub bar into an area where there's zero transitions, you can see now this, these, the uh, nodes appear, and now I can make it smaller. So keep that in mind whenever you're trying to take a group and and trying to uh, expand it or, or reduce it in size. So I'm just going to zoom in here a little bit and let's take this and place it right about there, a little bit over there. Okay, and again you can make this as perfect as you want uh, um, by making it bigger or smaller. Now I'm going to take this back here and we're going to reduce that again. That's good. So now what will happen is when we play the oh, let's just cut the music out for one second so we don't hear that every time there we go you'll see what will happen is each circle will appear in succession and then disappear which is great okay and the other thing you can do here is grab these together and make it into a group so if you want to do a few different uh, texting options here and they keep talking back and forth you can just duplicate this group and then Add it down below. Okay, so the first one is we're talking, the second one is the other guy talking, so that's why we're going to have it uh, as if he's writing something and then uh, follow it from there. So that's good there. So just as it's ending here, I'm going to have another box pop up as if uh, the texting is done. So let's go back to shapes. I'm going to just expand that again a little more so we can see this a little better. Let's go back to shapes here. And this time I took one that was a little bit more, a little bit wider, uh, which is down around there, this one here. Okay, and we'll color this, let's say, gray, lighter gray here like that. And let's bring that in a little bit closer to the left side this time and match it up to where the uh, three dots were approximately. Okay, and that's good. And now let's add some new text. Okay, and this time we're saying nothing much. Want to go play basketball with a question mark. And we made this writing black. So let's just get that in there like that. Now for this one I also added an icon. So I went up to the icons here, icons flat style, and looked up the word basketball and got these two icons which I already downloaded. So let's go back to media here and bring in the uh, basketball icon. Now, of course, you can play around with the spacing. I'm just going to put that there for the sake of the video. Good. So remember, I'm setting everything up first. I'm going to do the animations at the end. I copied this and duplicated it because I wanted a wider um, text area. So let's grab that, bring that down, over. And now let's just recolor them. So with this here, I will reverse it, uh, flip it horizontally, so that way it's going the same direction. And let's color that, make sure it's the exact same color, like that. And the text we're making white. There we go. And instead of the basketball here, I'm going to replace that with the basketball hoop. Perfect. Okay, so that's basically setting up the stage here. Now we can go in and we can uh, animate everything. Okay, so when this pops up here, let's go to the box or the, uh, the text uh, bubble here. 
and we're going to use motion in and we're going to use back scale up. Now I actually tried, let's say, elastic scale up. I tried that, but what happens is it goes beyond the confines of the phone when it pops in, so that didn't look very good. So I'm going to do it was back scale up because that comes in a nice kind of slow movement. But as you can see here, it's popping up. It's going a little bit over here and it's popping up from the center outwards. I don't want that to happen. What I want it to do is pop up from the bottom corner. So one important thing to realize and something that I think some people maybe don't realize they can do or often forget is to change the rotation point. So right now the rotation point by default is set in the middle. We want it to pop in from the bottom right corner. So let's make the center point there. Okay, and now when it pops on, you'll see it comes from that corner and upwards. It gives it a nice little different effect. Okay, let's just make sure that that is looking okay. Good. I'm going to make it just a little bit faster here. And let's copy that with Control C and do the same thing with the writing. Again, change the center point or the rotation point to the bottom right. Control V. So now they will both come up from the bottom right here. Now because this is us, you know, typing this, I also added a bit of uh, typing text. Now what we're going to have to do here is actually something a little bit different. So I'm going to the writing here. Okay, we're going to add a text effect of typing. And I'm just going to make it a little bit beyond how that's coming up. So you'll see what will happen is this will come up like that and type. Now you can see it's typing from the right to the left and pushing over. Now I actually don't want that. So I'm going to go back and change the typing here. Change the rotation point to the left. Okay, so that when that bubble pops up, typing is happening from left to right. Then we get the three dots turn on. And now he answers. Now, we don't need to see him typing. We just want this to pop up. So let's copy the pop-up here. That's right there. Control-C. I'm going to apply this to everything. But one thing you'll notice is when this pops up, it's again popping up with the wrong center point, with the wrong rotation point. So let's go back here. This time we're going to take it from the bottom left. Okay, change this one, bottom left, and this one, bottom left. So now it's popping up that way. Perfect. And finally, when we get back to this one, we're going to do the same thing as we did with the one above. So let's just paste again the pop up. We're going to change the writing one in a second. And we're going to make this. This is the box we're going to make from the corner bottom right. This one we're actually going to go from the top left because we want the text to type in from the top and just right across like we would normally. And then we're going to have this pop in similarly from the bottom right again. Okay, we're going to add to the text here. We're going to add a, a text effect with the typewriter, make it a little bit smaller. Okay, so what will happen again is the box will pop on, they'll be typing in the proper direction, and once the typing is done, then he'll add the uh, basketball net emoji here, like that. Okay, so let's just see what's happening right now. Okay, now of course we've got to change the text here. And he's saying, sure, I'll meet you at the park in an hour. Okay, so far so good. Uh, let's see what we're going to do now is we're going to add some sound effects. So again, I got a couple sound effects from the media library. And we looked up sound effects, and what I did was I looked up text. Oops. And there's send text message and text messaging, and I have them both here. So let's hear what those sound like. Send text message sounds like this. 
and text messaging. Okay, so when the bubble pops on, we're going to add the first one. So I always like to add my sound effects just as things are coming into view here. So let's add that to here. Okay, and then as these circles start coming on, we'll add the text messaging. And then the bubble starts to pop on around there. And the last one right about there. Okay, let's hear how that sounds now with the music. Let's turn the music back on. Now that music is too loud for this purpose. We won't hear the sound effects. So I'm going to take the volume of this. I actually took it way down to 10%. Uh, let's try that again. Okay, there you get the idea of that. The last thing that I did was added some uh, camera effect. So we'll go to the camera, start off at full screen, and we're going to add a camera effect here. And I had it go out to when everything was on screen, so I'm going to expand that. And we're going to make the final camera a little bit zoomed in here. Let's say like that. Again, you can play with this and do whatever you like. All right, and now it looks something like this. And there you have it. Now, one thing you might want to do is, uh, because he's not actually typing here, you might want it uh, to suggest that he's typing. And you do that by using the camera and just zooming in. So another option for the camera, just to show you, is let's say we're going to start the camera really zoomed in on him writing, okay? pretending that there's a keyboard down here, but you don't actually see it. And then we'll just bring it out slightly. Okay, so it might look something like this. So you can play around with the camera action. You can also add a header to this and a footer to make it look more like a phone. Just make it look the way you like. All right, I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, happy creating.